Let me just finish this. <clears throat> I have to eat before we eat. <laughs> hey guys, it's John. And Lauren from Hot For Food. And we are just about wrapping up 2016. And we- Thank God. Thank God. And we have a fresh, new challenge coming at you. It's our last video, our last challenge. We're going out with a bang. And uh, what are we gonna do today, Lauren? We're going out with a bang and a lot of booze. We're doing the cooking with booze challenge because you probably have accumulated quite a number of bottles in your house post holidays. Little, bit, little bits at the bottom of every yeah. bottle. And then you wanna like use it up and get new stuff for New Year's. I don't know, you're just gonna have a lot of booze lying around even after New Year's. So we're gonna give you some ideas on how to cook with it. And last time we did the Thanksgiving challenge. Who won that one? Oh, I wonder. I did. <laughs> I also won the Halloween candy challenge and I also won, won the back to school snack challenge. Three in a row. What's happening, people? Thank you. Yeah, what's happening, people? <laughs> so we've got some beer, some brandy, some rum, some vodka, some bourbon, some wine. I've decided that I'm gonna use the spiced rum that we used for the vegan nog recipe. And I'm gonna make some Jamaican inspired food. What? Why are you selecting your thing now? Like you don't Why to, not? I'm uh, telling you. It's not, we don't have time for secrets. Just get it out so we can move on and cook. I'm doing beer, no surprise. Yeah, John doesn't even drink anything else really. I chose beer because it's a really easy, versatile thing to use. Uh, you could beer braise, you could do beer batter, but for this particular one, it's gonna be a play on our cheese, nacho cheese recipe, and it's gonna be a beer and cheddar dip. It's gonna be good. So if you remember in our nacho cheese recipe, we're using carrots and potatoes as the base, but instead of boiling them, I'm gonna fry them in a pan with some oil. So essentially what I'm doing is the nacho cheese recipe and all of the elements are there, they're just in there in a different way. Like we would put onion powder and garlic powder in the cheese sauce, but we're actually gonna fry in some onions and we're gonna fry some garlic in here along with the potatoes, the carrots, and some celery, and it's all just gonna build flavor. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes. We're really close to done, and now we're gonna add our garlic. I'm gonna add salt and pepper as well. So while your veggies are all frying, I'm gonna work on the vessel that will hold our beer and cheddar dip. We're going bread bowl. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna hollow it out and we're gonna dump all of the beer and cheddar dip into it and it's gonna be melty and cheesy. Ah! If I was an old man, I could go feed this to the birds. <laughs> The best part about cooking with booze is you have something to do while you wait for the food to cook. I'm gonna use a lager for this. It's mild, but it's still got enough malt to it, but it's not gonna overpower the dip. It's gonna just bring out like the sweetness and malty bitterness of the beer and cheddar dip. It's gonna be good. So you can see some of the colors already coming off the pan, which is good. So we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer and just let it reduce. We're adding all this to a blender with nutritional yeast, half a cup of soaked cashews, a teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and about four or five pickled jalapenos, and a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk. Smell that. It smells like beer. Oh yeah, that looks exactly the way it should. Bottoms up. What? It's pretty good. You're missing the tang. You need to add apple cider vinegar. Okay. You're adding apple cider vinegar. And salt. And salt. B what are those? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm using for my recipe. Okay, I'm just cooking some rice here with some vegetarian chicken stock because the base of my dish is gonna be Jamaican rice and beans or rice and peas, I don't know what you call it. But I have been wanting to use this vegetable for a long time. You don't it know what these are? Like, it's like ginger. That looks like an animal. Like a Pokemon. These are sunchokes. Sunchokes? Like sun artichokes? Chokes. It's the root of the Jerusalem artichoke. Oh. Or this is a Jerusalem artichoke. I have no clue. Somebody is definitely Someone's, gonna let you know in the comments. Someone though. will let me know in the comments. Uh, it's fine. But I had um, fried sunchoke buffalo wings at a restaurant in Vancouver in the summer, which you may have seen in my What I Ate in Vancouver video on my personal YouTube channel. And ever since I had those, I was like, oh my God, this is genius. I need to use sunchokes for something. And I thought Jamaican jerk chicken. And I can just apply the same technique to 
this hearty root, which is starchy. I'm gonna boil these to cook them whole. Then I'm gonna fry them in shallow oil to get them crispy. I'm not really sure yet. Actually. I think you'll figure it out. Plus you're a jerk, so you're gonna be you're good at a making jerk. jerk chicken. <laughs> I realized you're supposed to use scotch bonnet or habanero Ooh, peppers. Those are spicy. Those are so hot and I couldn't find them anyways. So I got this hot yellow pepper, which this might be more like Mexican, a Mexican pepper, I don't really know. But I'm gonna make it spicy with cayenne and this and it might not be so traditional, but I can't handle too much heat. So it'll be spicy enough. White girl approved. <laughs> I'm not even white. A lot of the Jamaican rice and beans um, recipes that I saw online, they're using dried kidney beans and they're cooking them in coconut milk with the rice. But I've already cooked my rice and I'm using canned kidney beans. So it's gonna be a quicker version. We're still gonna add coconut milk in for richness and creaminess. So into a pan, I'm gonna start sauteing some green onion and garlic. Okay, you're gonna cook the bottom parts of the onions and leave a lot of the green stuff for after. So we're just gonna fry everything in the coconut milk because it's fatty enough. Just adding a bit more coconut milk so this doesn't stick. Just get it softened and we're gonna add some fresh thyme. Once the onions and garlic and everything's a bit softer, you can add the beans into the pan. And then I think we'll just add the rice and the coconut milk. And then I'm gonna add um, half of a lime for now, maybe more after. And just a bit of ground pepper. It's already salty enough from the stock that I cooked the rice in. I'm gonna cover it and keep it on low heat for another 10 minutes and then probably just take it off the heat and let it sit while I make the sun chokes. Got my good old friend Rummy here. So we're gonna cook off about half a cup of spiced rum. I might as well just use it up. There's like another quarter cup here. So I'm gonna add everything into a blender to make basically like a rub or a puree. So we're gonna add some onion, about half of a small onion. We'll add the hot pepper. We're gonna add the rum. Some garlic. Add a whole lime. We're doing a loose quarter cup of brown sugar. Just a couple tablespoons of oil. We're doing about a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and nutmeg. I don't have tomato paste, so I'm gonna add ketchup, which I hate ketchup. And we'll add salt and pepper. I think about half a teaspoon of each. Okay, we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar and we'll blend this. Okay, I'm gonna add cayenne and smoked paprika. I'm not really sure if this is true jerk, so just bear with me. After much deliberation, I've decided I'm just gonna slightly mash the whole sun choke. Then I'm gonna pan fry it for about two or three minutes each side in some shallow oil. That's gonna help it get crispy, get a little more fat into it because it is just a starchy vegetable. So now we're gonna lay out our little sun choke fillets and I'm gonna bake these in the sauce. So rather than flipping, because these are quite delicate, I'm just pushing the sauce underneath. I'm sure it's getting there. And we're gonna put these in a very hot oven because the idea is I want this sauce to really caramelize and sort of blacken around the sun choke. So these have baked for 10 minutes at 425. We're gonna flip them and then just baste the bottoms and bake again for another 10 to 15 minutes until they're golden and dark and crispy. So technically we could just put our dip right into the bread bowl, but that's not what we're gonna do here in the Hot For Food Kitchen. We're just gonna rip this up nice and rustic, just like this whole dish, and these will be our dipping bits. We're gonna put them in the oven first though and make them nice and crispy. It pretty much turned out, and I'm very excited about both of these. 
Where are you going? I, it's rude to not pour you a beer, even though this is a competition. You just drink mine. Okay, cheers to being done. 2016, y'all. Clink. Whoa, what a year. This is, this is a good way to go out, going out with a bang here for the Cooking with Booze Challenge. I love cooking with booze. It's one of my favorite things to do. You went Caribbean, South. I went, you know, Texas. <laughs> How is it? I wanna get a crusty piece. It's fucking outstanding. Thank you. It tastes exactly like a beer cheddar dip. No one in hell or heaven or earth would know that that's vegan. Oh my God. And no, you cannot substitute the beer. <laughs> but. Because it gave it like this bitter beer taste. Like, but no. if it's an alcohol thing, you could get de-alcohol, de-alcohol beer. Yeah, but that shit's like water, so. But it still has the things that this would do to it. You don't have to do the melted cheese on top if you don't want to use like a pre-made cheese, but it just adds kind of a look to it. And the actual cheese sauce underneath that I made is like, Whew. Obviously you can do this with our nacho cheese sauce as well and make more of a Tex-Mex style bowl. I had just coconut, bacon, and uh, green onions for garnish too, but it's kind of looks like a giant baked potato. Mmm, you've really outdone yourself this time, John. <laughs> All right, let's go hang out with this thing. The flavors of both of these go so well together. It's mainly about the rub, right? You can put this on a pre-made chicken, vegan chicken breast, you could put it on cauliflower, you could put it on whatever. We found these though. <laughs> I've never actually seen people cook with these. They look like little chicken thighs. But that's why I got the idea, because of the restaurant that I had them at in Vancouver. And your rice is probably like sweet, mm. right? Because the coconut. Get out of here. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, the inside of this is like white and... Maybe I'm a little bit Jamaican inside. Maybe. <laughs> it's spicy, but it's like the threshold of me not being able to handle it. But you totally get the rum, like the, oh, the yeah. sugar the from the rum. Oh yeah, the sweet rum and the... The alcohol's all cooked off from it. The sweet, sweet rum. That's a winner. Winner, winner. Jerk uh -oh. chicken dinner. <laughs> we're, we're good. <laughs> we're good at this. <laughs> I guess we picked the right profession. Holy smoke. Now what are these? This cheese on cheese? You can dip a cheese cube in the cheese dip? I like this. Yeah, it's because I'm so cheesy. Oh. Mm. Yeah, click the eye icon in the top right corner. There's a poll there and it says, who should win? Is it my spiced rum jerk sunchoke with rice and beans? Or my beer and cheddar bread bowl dip? So we'll see you in 2017. Keep the recipes coming on social media. We see you posting pictures of things you're making from our channel and from our blog and we love it and it's fantastic and it's so amazing and you're so impressive. And thank you so much for sharing the love, cooking up vegan love with Hot For Food all year long. And we'll do more of this in 2017. Obviously, we're not going anywhere. We're not stopping. How do you top this though? I don't know, we'll top it. We got hundreds more recipes up our sleeves. We're working on a cookbook that I am delivering in 2017, but it will not be coming out until spring 2018. So don't hold your breath, but it's coming out. <laughs> um, Happy New Year. And that's a great, yeah, that's quite a great feat and accomplishment, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Ain't it? Yeah, Happy New Year. Drive safely, don't drink and drive, all those things. Just drink beer and cheddar dip. And stay and inside and don't go anywhere. Don't go to lots of parties, that's so annoying. <laughs> Get a cat. Hang out with your cat <laughs> and eat beer and cheddar dip. All right, we're gonna stop talking now. As you can see, we don't wanna leave. Follow, subscribe, like, thumbs up, heart. We weren't even rolling. We're rolling right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>